did the spill morning. Um, got myself a new John boat and um, a 1436 tracker topper. Um, got it out for the first time today and kind of do a few little tests just to kind of find out what I couldn't find out uh, online. Um, one thing is how fast will the 1436 boat go with a 55 pound thrust trolling motor? Um, and two, how stable is it going to be for fishing? And uh, specifically for standing up, I guess. Um, one thing that I do intend to do is to put a um, casting deck on the front between the, the bench and the nose up there that I can stand on and fish from. Um, so, got out on the lake today. The wind's pretty calm. I think it's about five miles an hour. Um, wind's supposed to be coming out of the west-southwest, but it's not. It's coming almost due east right now. Um, so I don't know if that's going to, you know, I'm kind of out on the body of the lake, so I'll have to deal with the wind a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be pushing me too much. I've got the trolling motor pushing me right now, and it's barely moving. It's I've got it on the lowest setting. Um, so, anyway, I'll uh, put the camera on and we'll crank up the trolling motor here in a minute and see uh, see how fast it'll push the boat. Uh, the idea is that I won't have to deal with a, a motor in most cases. Um, you know, I intend to eventually get like a 9.9 .9 just to have, just in case I do want to cover some water and want to plane it. Um, but for just you know fishing around, you know, nearby and and uh, quick trips, you know, I want to be able to estimate how far I can go on a trolling motor within a couple hours of fishing. So um, let's see what we can do. Got some going across the wind here, and it's. A little bit choppy. We are moving at 3.2.1.2 miles per hour. Get some flatter water, but uh, this is a good start. 3.3, 3.2, 3.3. Again, that's with a crosswind and uh, some mild chop. Um, 3.4. Yeah. So we might be able to pick up, we might be able to reach around 4 miles per hour under ideal conditions. And that's pretty much what I need to know. I don't know that we're going to get much faster than that, even with really glassy water. I'm thinking maybe a max of 3.6, 3.7. That's going to be about the, all we're going to be able to do. At 10, you can see the propeller, propeller barely moving down there. Now we will, if you crank it up, you will watch that water boil. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we want to look at is stability. We want to see how easy it is to, I mean, you can stand up from a seating position pretty easily. And then, uh, you know, if you're pretty careful, you can walk around okay. The real trick is whether or not we can stand up here. It's not too bad. I think one person, once you get used to it, will be fine. Um, you can see I can rock it side to side pretty easily, but it's not, uh, it's not scary. That's what needs to, I needed to know. Now the only thing is, you know, stepping down here, there's going to be a deck here eventually is the, the idea. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit of uh, care walking around on a casting deck. But um, of course once it has more weight in it, that's going to affect it too. Right now it's pretty empty. So, but standing high doesn't affect it as adversely as I thought it would. So yeah, I can I can cast and fish from this. It shouldn't be an issue. Two people is going to be 
probably something we're not going to want to deal with though, as far as standing and casting now. Maybe if you got one person sitting still, but two people moving around might be kind of uh, unsteady. So, I also think it's something that once I get used to it and get on here, it'll uh, it'll be a little easier to kind of develop your balance. So, but yeah, that's not bad at all. Good. All right. 